Hi, y'all. Come with me to shave my head again. Let's do a buzz cut and re dye. Quick shout out to Arctic Fox. This is the color Wrath, and if you dye your hair, you know that red is definitely the hardest color to maintain. And this is three weeks after dyeing my hair with no touch ups. I was totally planning on showing you guys how I refresh my color in between shaves, and I ended up not even having to because this color, the Arctic Fox hair dye, is literally that good. It just holds on even those difficult colors like red it just holds into your hair so anyway quick shout out to them they're awesome i love arctic fox hair hair dye it's cruelty free it's really conditioning it lasts really long obviously and i just like it and they come with a ton of different colors and you can mix them to make custom colors if you want to do that which is great because not all hair dyes you can mix so anywho's i'm getting the clippers out i'm doing five millimeters again um and yeah that's all the hair that is left it's here checking 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 making sure it's all even i do just do one even color all over my head or even cut all over my head and now we are doing some bleach so i back in the day when i first buzzed my hair i used to get you know stuff from the hair the beauty supply store which is great, but these days I'm doing it the easy peasy way, which is this Manic Panic bleach kit. It is just the perfect amount and I don't have to measure anything and I don't have to have anything ready and it's like $8. It's, it's great. Manic Panic is also cruelty free. They also do hair color, um, like nice big vibrant colors, but I just often go for Arctic Fox, but I'll have to try out more Manic Panic colors uh, one of these days. But today is not that day because as you guys have been requesting so often, I am going platinum and I'm doing my brows. Yes, I am. And, you know, I don't really take requests, so I don't want anybody to be like berating me in the comments that you might be requesting a certain color and I don't do it. I genuinely don't really even take requests. Um, I just felt like doing platinum. I used to do platinum a lot back in the days and I used to bleach my brows a lot back in the day. I used to fully shave my eyebrows off too back in the day. Anytime I just felt like it, I genuinely just do what I feel like doing you guys. Of course, if y'all have inspiration pictures of like cool, you know, patterns and stuff, definitely send those to me on Instagram. I would love to see them. And I am I am actually planning on going to my hair girl. She has told me that she wants to do like some cool patterns and stuff. And she wants to practice the girl who used to cut my hair here in town when I had long hair. So definitely, definitely send me inspiration of stuff you guys want to see. And I will try to link up with her and hopefully she lets me film. I'm pretty sure she will. Um, yeah, the only reason that I actually wanted to go to her this time and get a really cool flower pattern, but she was actually out of town. So it's just platinum. And then this is how I get the makeup out of my hair and my eyebrows. I just take a damp washcloth and really carefully go along the edge of my hair and make sure that I get all of the makeup out and without touching my face. Of course, I go really slow and really careful and then I use a Q-tip on my brows. So sometimes a little bit of foundation gets in there and they can look a little bit orange. So I just want to make sure that that's not there. And then I go in with this Wet n Wild brow style. I use the brown one when I don't have bleached eyebrows. So I tried the clear and it comes out basically white, which is perfect. And then the ends of my brows are a little bit sparse and I do actually want to fill them in a tiny bit. So I'm using the lightest blonde pencil that I could possibly find. And it is the NYX micro pencil, micro brow pencil in the shade blonde. And it's the absolute lightest. And even then I go like really, really, really light. I just give a little bit of structure and fill into the tail of my brow and that's it. I leave everything else really blonde and really fluffy and natural looking. Also this time I didn't really feel like I needed to tone my hair. I feel like at certain angles it looks white. Like even in this clip right here, you can see that Part of it looks white and part of it looks a little bit yellow and it really just depends on what angle you're at. So I don't know. I'm going to feel it out. I haven't bleached my hair in like over five years, so I'm still kind of figuring it out if I want to tone it 
or if I want to just leave it like a little bit yellow. It's not like it's orange or like mustard yellow. It really just depends on the lighting and the angle, how white or how yellow it looks. So no toning it this time. Let me know down below if you think I should tone it because I always can tone it, you know, like three days later, not a big deal. And yeah, this is me with like a whole face of makeup on. I went like all pink and cute and I just absolutely love the way that it looks with the platinum brows. I just feel like it looks so cool. I did this really cool eye look that's really blushy and I tied the blush into my eyeshadow. So if you want a full tutorial on this makeup look also, let me know down below. I'll be so happy to do that for you guys. And this is how everything looks in daylight. And that is the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Also my Instagram, my TikTok, and my other YouTube channel are always linked down below. If you want to follow me everywhere, I would super duper appreciate it. Okay. Bye.